Is how do you think you guys have handled this sort of music is quite loud today? How do you do it? I think pretty good. You know, um, I think one of the things that I'm going to wrote a note down, though, is I'm going to move the defense down to this side of the field because although they have to communicate as well, it's not the same. And it, it does take away from your ability to coach and practice the way you want to coach. So slide the defense down here, make sure the offense is up right, right by the noise and they have to manage it. But uh, we've been doing it since camp. Uh, we did it as loud as we possibly could this week. Uh, I think that's going to help us. You know, I don't know if you can ever you know, completely prepare for 110,000, uh, but you know, we're doing everything we possibly can to, to help these guys manage it. No, I mean, the, the biggest thing is, is, which you guys have heard me say a lot, is, is kick location. You know, um, um, we're not going to change what we do. I think that's one of the mistakes that you can make is you get into one of these games and, and you try to, you try to you know, change what you've been doing all year long for this specific opponent. The best thing you can do is keep working on the schemes and the fundamentals and techniques that you're already doing, do them really well, and then make sure that your punts and kicks are in the right spot. The last thing you want to do is kick the ball down the middle of the field and give this guy 53 and a third to work with. You want to, you want to corner him in um, you know, so he doesn't have a whole lot of room to work with. Yeah, they're veterans. I mean, I think you guys have heard me say, you know, we, we have 12 seniors on our team. They have 13 seniors in the two deep on offense and 13 seniors on the two deep on defense. The secondary are veteran players. The defensive line are veteran big physical players. Plus, I think they're getting uh, Jordan Lewis and Taco uh, Charlton back this week, who have been dynamic players, those two guys, and they, they, have, they haven't played the last couple weeks. So, um, yeah, I mean, they are big, strong, veteran players um, that make plays. They're ranked in the top five for a reason. You know, this, this is a good football. Yeah, I think, you know, he's a guy that's playing special teams right now. I think his defensive role is going to continue to grow. It has to. Um, you know, just based on the situation that we're in right now. Um, and we think he has the ability to do it. Um, his length, I think, really helps him in pass coverage because it's hard to get the ball around him or over him. Um, but also, it, it can cause issues when you're six foot five, 210 to 15 pounds, um, you know, making sure he's playing with leverage. Because if you're not real big and then guys get underneath you, which is natural to happen when you're six foot five, He's got to force himself to play with great leverage. In high school, he could get away with being high and still being able to you know, out physical people. And at this level, you know, he's got to play with great leverage and great fundamentals. So that's all new to him. I think I think having kind of an understanding not only for the players but for the coaches is important. Um, this is this is an impressive venue. Um, I think you know we got a bunch of players now that have played there before or, or been in that environment. The same thing with the coaches. I got a better understanding of how to prepare our guys for what it's going to be like. Um, so yeah, I think I think those things help. I think experience in general helps. Um, you know, uh, you know, not only that, but then we've talked to some people that have played there this year. And they have, I think, eight home games this year. Um, you know, it's kind of an unusual situation. So um, you know, we're excited about the opportunity. They've scored a bunch of points. Special teams have been a big part of that. Um, and then I think playing at home, there's an advantage. I mean, I think everybody knows that. You guys know that. Um, you look at, you know, um, spreads and, and all those types of things. You know, home field advantage is a big difference. So, um, you know, so we're going to have to go and deal with it. No, you know, there wasn't anything that jumped out that, that we felt like was going to be problematic um, or we would have done more. Um, but, um, you know, the guys, the guys have done a good job with it. I have asked the scout team to strip note because it's no different than anything else. If you have issues, um, you know, there's blood on the blood in the water. They're, they're going to say that, that this team will fumble, so they're going to be more um, motivated to strip. It's no different than if you're the right guard on PAT field goal and you get blown out in week one. You better be prepared week two, week three, week four. Everybody's going to pick on you until you show that you're able to do it. So um, that, that'll be obviously an emphasis for them, and they're going to look at it as an opportunity in this game.